Are you ready for this? I got some major haulage to show you and there's even more than this. It's gonna be a long one, you've been warned. Let's start off with some of the best stuff, shall we? I probably need my head examined for buying some of these things, but what can you do? They make me happy. And this first thing I'm about to show you, you're probably going to die. It's that beautiful. It's a Tom Ford Illuminate Highlight Pen, and this is in the color Citrine 01. Are you ready for this? Because I wasn't when I seen it. I pretty much had a heart attack and fell over. I think Maria did too. We both got them. Come on, come on. There we go. All right, can we please just take a moment to look at this highlight? It is so beautiful. I just swatched it there on my hand. I haven't blended it out yet. So there it is again on my hand. I will swatch it out. You guys, it is just <laughs> the most beautiful highlight ever. I am obsessed and I haven't even used it. Like, if you have a Tom Ford counter near you, you need to go swatch this immediately. It is just stunning. They had quite a few. I think they had three more for sure that I know of. I'm not sure how many uh, color selections they had with that, but they do have quite a variety for different skin tones. And the next thing I got when I was at Tom Ford is their bronzer brush. When I was there, they had this like book of brushes that was just stunning. And I guess they release it sometime around... Um, holiday season sometime but this seriously is the softest brush ever it is just beautiful and I am just so excited to have this in like my brush collection and the last thing I picked up from Tom Ford was his bronzer in the color Terra and the number is 02 the other one had shimmer in it this thing is just huge so it comes with this really pretty dust bag that says Tom Ford on it. It has very gorgeous packaging. A packaging though that will attract fingerprints but is very beautiful. The bronzer is quite slim and it's quite large inside. You do get a nice big mirror. Hold this there so I'm not blinding you. So it's quite large and round but quite thin so I would say you'd probably get the same amount of product as an average bronzer just because it's so thin but it kind of makes up for being thin by being quite large in like its circumference if that makes any sense so like I said this one is a matte bronzer that is what it looks like right there and I will swatch it out on my hand Actually, this is the first time I've swatched it on my hand since I've had it, and it, I would say it does kind of have a sheen to it. Not a shimmer, but kind of a sheen. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that, but still just absolutely stunning. So while we were in Neiman Marcus, the guy at the counter of Clay de Poe was actually very nice and gave us some generous samples. I got this Essential Correcting Refiner. This is supposed to be apparently amazing for people with oily skin and large pores. So that's what I mean, like that's an awesome sample, right? So you put this on before you apply your makeup underneath your moisturizer in that oily T-zone kind of area. So I'm super excited to try this and I'll definitely um, keep you guys updated on what I think about this. He also gave us some fancy cotton pads and a soap. And I actually learned that Clay de Peau is the higher end of the Shiseido brand, so that was interesting. I stopped in at the Mac Pro Store while we were there because in my city we don't have a pro store. And I picked up this Pro Longwear Blush in the color Rosy Outlook. And that's what it looks like there. I think this will look really nice. Ooh, that's really soft and buttery. I think this will look really nice on um, fair skin tones. I think all skin tones, but it's just a really nice kind of peachy pink, I would say. So that is it right there. I'm actually going to pop this into my MAC palette before I break it. 
And the last thing I picked up from the Pro Store was Inspired by Nicole. I will link her down below. And this is a travel canister. And this is the smaller size. They do have a bigger size available as well. And I do want to get it, but it has been sold out on the website forever. So this one is for like lip liners, your eyebrow brushes. And what's nice about this is it locks into place. So you can pick your height. So if you have taller brushes or shorter brushes and it locks just like this. And then when you open it up, you can just put it like this on your counter wherever you're traveling and it just is like a brush holder. So I thought that was really cool and I can't wait to get um, the bigger size. And this just happened to be in the bag. This is a little chocolate from Nespresso. And I'm going to tell you guys about this because Marie and I had a coffee and like a little dessert there together. And that was seriously the best coffee I've ever had. It's like a little coffee bar. They serve you, bring you a bill like you're in a restaurant and... It was seriously so amazing. I'm going to see if we have one of these here. And if you guys have one near you, I highly recommend checking it out. It was a really great experience and great coffee. Okay, going on from this point, I might get a little scattered. This is some stuff from Ulta. I went to Ulta, I think, three times. So let's just start. I'm just going to grab stuff out of here because it's not going to be in any particular order. Some of the stuff I can already see isn't from Ulta. It's from Target. So I got this It Cosmetics brush. It's like a small stippling brush, just like that. And I just wanted this for like highlight or warming up with my Chanel De Ten De Chanel Bronze Universal. You guys know what I'm talking about. Now this brush caught my attention while I was there. This is the It Cosmetics brushes for Ulta. And this is the Airbrush Mega Powder Brush. And I have never seen a stippling brush this large and in charge in my lice, lice, life. And I have never felt something so soft. This thing is just freaking amazing. Like amazing. Heaven on our brush. It's just amazing. From It Cosmetics, I also picked up the CC Plus Radiance Ombre Bronzer just because I always hear girls talking about it and saying how much they love it and I do like it. I am wearing it right now and it kind of has, I don't know if it's shimmer. I would say just a sheen to it. It's really soft. That's what it looks like right there. It's really pretty. I am glad that I did get it. I do have to play with it a little bit more. I also grabbed this Laura Geller Balance in Bright Baked Color Correcting Foundation in the color Fair. I have heard really good things about this too and I don't know anywhere where I can get Laura Geller products. So that is what it looks like here. The person that actually inspired me to buy this is Love Melissa Michelle and she has super oily skin as well. And I know she loves it and it's lasted her forever so I am really excited to try it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it there. It kind of has the finish of mineral makeup. I'm not sure if it is mineral makeup. Maybe because it's baked. I don't know. But this is what it kind of looks like inside. It has a bunch of different colors mixed together and you just kind of blend them up. I picked up this blonde Batiste dry shampoo. Batiste dry shampoo is my favorite shampoo dry shampoo and we have Batiste here but I've never seen the blonde one so if you guys know where we can get it let me know down below but so I'm excited to try this I did try it already but didn't see much of a difference with the blonde maybe that's a good thing and maybe it'll help a little bit more when my roots come in and I picked these two things up from not your mother's hair brand we do not have this here this is the beach babe texturizing sea salt spray. Maria told me I needed this so I got it and I got one of these little travel size way to grow leave-in conditioners. I also got the Sally Hansen gel cuticle remover quickly removes excess cuticles. My cuticles are horrible and I've heard just great things about this. I think I can get it here but I just seen it there and grabbed it. So a lot of these purchases are inspired by people that I watch. This one was inspired by Skylar from Skylar Aesthetics. I will link her down below as well. And this is the Burt's Bees Peach and Willow Bark Exfoliating Facial Cleansing Cloths. And they do smell really, really good. And I think they're new. 
I believe, but they smell amazing. So I grabbed a few things at Target. I grabbed a jacket. It's really cute, but it's actually in the wash. And I also got these hair elastics. I know they're plain and black, but these are the Remington brand, and I have not seen them here. And this one was inspired by Luster Lux because she said these were her favorite elastics, and she has some really good ponytails, you know, like the perfect ponies. So I wanted to give these a try. And while I was picking up those, I got these ones, and I've never seen anything like it. It's like an actual rubbery plastic band. It says they're virtually unbreakable. And so yeah, I'm excited to give this a try. Maria got them too and tried them when we were there, and she said they were like hardcore and like held your hair up, so I'm excited. And I also got this cute little wallet at Target just for like business cards because I ordered some really pretty business cards to start freelancing. And I ordered the chubby ones that they're not as square, but they're taller than the regular business card. So this will fit them. While I was at Ulta, I picked up some of the Tree Hut body scrubs. These are my absolute favorite ever. So I got the flavors or scents. Tropical Mango, Pomegranate Acai, I think that's how you say it. And the Passion Fruit and Guava. Nicole also sent me some tree hut scrubs and Maria gave me some when I was down there so I think I should be good until I go to IMATS because there is one website I can order the tree hut scrubs on for, to get it into Canada and they have one cent so I'll link that down below if you guys want to try it. They are seriously my holy grail body scrub. They have a lot of grit to them and get that dead skin off but they don't leave you greasy at all but moisturized so I highly recommend them. I also picked these up while I was in Ulta. They are the dual phase body wash with vitamins A and E. And they're, I don't know, like half lotion, half soap or oil or something like that. And this is the toasted vanilla. And this one is sweet spice. Oh, this one you guys smell so good. It smells like cinnamon chai almost. And I just picked up... Um, two more of the same kinds for my mom. From Tree Hut, I also grabbed this Daily Defense Dry Oil with SPF of eight. It's raspberry macadamia. I've never tried this, but have really high hopes for it. I grabbed another one of my Mario Badescu drying lotions because my other one was getting kind of gross. And this stuff, you guys, is like a miracle worker. You kind of look silly going to sleep because you have pink dots all over your face, but it really does work well. So I had to get myself another one of these. And I also picked up the NYX HD concealer down there because they're always sold out of my color up here and it's just the lightest one, CW01 in porcelain. Okay, I think I'm almost done with Ulta unless there's some more stuff mixed in here. I got this little Love Your Hair travel kit. I wanted to get this because I travel between cities a lot to Calgary and Edmonton and back. It's about a two and a half hour drive. All my family lives in Calgary and I'll be driving down there this weekend because to celebrate our Thanksgiving, our, th our Thanksgiving is this weekend coming up. And this would be perfect to just throw my blow dryer, my straightener, my hair brushes, my hair products in here and just carry it and put it in the back of my car because I drive down. And it was $7 and it also comes with all of this product to try a good range of samples and high, like high end samples like Joyco K pack. Biolage, and I can't see, Pureology. So you get good samples in here. I think I picked this one up at Walgreens. It's just kind of like a comic looking girl. Kind of reminds me of Marilyn Monroe. And it says, life without makeup isn't pretty. So I just thought that'd be fun for lip glosses or whatever in your purse. And I love how it's clear. I love, love, love clear makeup bags. I grabbed this picture frame while I was in the airport. It's just like a rustic look, rustic looking Texas flag. I think it's the Texas flag um, frame. I just think it's really cute. My main level of my house is really rustic and... I'm just going to put a picture of me and Maria in there, or I should say Maria and I, so I love that. Alright, on to some Charm and Charlie stuff, and I think I threw my Nordstrom's, yeah I did. So there's going to be a mix of stuff from Nordstrom and Charm and Charlie in here. This is a scarf I got at Nordstrom, it is from the BP, yeah BP, I get it mixed up, it's PB or BP, so BP. And when I go down to Calgary, they actually have a Nordstrom now, so I'm super excited. And this I could probably wear right now. It is cool enough outside. I just thought it's really pretty to wear with just like a really nice long sleeve and it was only 20 bucks. So love that. It actually smells good too for some strange reason. I got these really cute headbands at Nordstrom as well. This one just has 
flowers on it and I thought this would be cute to just kind of wear across the forehead or in your hair and I got this one here as well and a lot of these were cheap this one was $16 but some of them were like five bucks yeah this one was $5.98 and this one is my absolute favorite one that I got it's so pretty. I wore it in my hair while I was down there and I actually got a ton of compliments. I don't remember how much this one was, but I don't think it was more than like 10 bucks. These are some of the earrings I got while I was at Nordstrom as well. They're just like, I don't know if they're cubic zirconias, but they're like crystals and they have these kind of like gold spikes around them. I just thought they are really pretty and I always wear stuff like this all the time. Okay, so I think that's it for Nordstrom and I did pick these up at, at Walgreens as well. They're just these cute, is it Walgreens or CVS? I don't remember, but there's there are these like cute seashell clips with like a pearl in the middle. I always have those baby hairs at the back that kind of break or like fall down. So I always need something to like clip it up when my hair is up. So I just thought those would be really cute. Or even like today how I, this is the one from Tarte that I just got on the blush set. But just to pin your hair back out of your face. So most of the stuff now I think is going to be from Charm and Charlie. This is just like a clutch slash swing pack. I think I'll be using it as like a swing pack. But it has a good amount of room in there, some pockets, a nice little zippy on the back. So I really like that. It's so inexpensive. It was 29 bucks, and it sparkles so pretty. They have a whole bunch of different colors, so I'm really excited about this. So some of the first earrings I got here from Charm and Charlie are these. They're just really pretty. Everything from there is so reasonably priced, and it's good quality. It's not... It's probably not the best quality, but it's not like Forever 21, you know? So I just thought these would look really pretty with like your hair up in a big sock bun if you're wearing just kind of a casual outfit to dress it up a little bit. I got this little dainty um, elephant necklace. He has his trunk up and they say elephants with their trunk up is good luck, especially if you keep them at your front door. So I just think he's so cute and I love little dainty pieces like that. If you can hear someone in the background, it's just Connor on the bed here with me. And this is a little flower pendant, really dainty and cute as well. And it has like these rose gold stones with a little pearl in the middle. I just love that. And Maria got me these ones while we were in there. This one, I was looking at it and I was like, I would never wear that. But it would totally remind me of my trip because it looks like, you know, little Texas star. Or it's American, but you know how they have the one star on their flag and... I'm just going to hang it somewhere so she got it for me so I can, it will remind me of my trip. And she also got me this little lemon keychain from there because for some reason I have an odd obsession with lemons. <laughs> Maria and I both got this one. It is so pretty. It's just like this finely chained, um, I don't even know how to describe it. Maybe not chained, like mesh with little crystals inside. It's just so delicate and so pretty I just freaking love this I'm so excited to wear this okay the last thing I think I'm going to talk about here so this video isn't forever long are these cute little spoons I picked up at a shop there I'm not sure what shop it was it was in Dallas around like the Z gallery and pottery barn and all those kind of stores and we just went to one of these shops and it's so cute it's like tablespoon teaspoon half a teaspoon quarter of a teaspoon and they're solid wood solid beech wood and they just have the cutest little kind of forest creatures on them I just love that all right guys that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much Maria for having me down there I seriously had the most amazing time I wish we could have filmed this haul video together and I miss you so much already and thank you so much for watching this guys I'll see you in my next video bye